Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know it's been a really long time since I've made a video. I put one out recently, but it was my like tour of my apartment and everything like that. And obviously that's way different than me actually having like a sit down video. So since things have changed obviously in the world recently with everything going on, I decided I would sit down and make a video to kind of address how I'm dealing with that in relation to other things on my channel and everything like that. So obviously the coronavirus has been going on and everyone has been instructed basically almost worldwide to stay away from each other, to stay apart, to not be interacting with each other, and to stay at home. So that has forced a lot of people obviously out of gyms that most of them have closed and has made it so that we have to make sure that we can figure out a way to stay in shape or stay active at home and away from other people. So that is not always easiest thing for everybody. It wasn't always the easiest thing for me. I don't feel super motivated doing things at home. Obviously, that's a little bit harder because you can just lay around. So I have come up with something that kind of works for me and like a workout plan that I'll share with y'all in a little bit. Um, but I am just making this video so I can give you guys some tips and tricks on how to deal with this time sort of obviously none of this is like official advice because i'm just telling you what works for me but i'm just gonna let you guys know some of the ways that i am dealing with everything that's going on okay so the first thing i'm gonna address is obviously working out like i said gyms are all pretty much closed and so working out is a little hard um i am going to show you all what i do for my workout but this is not obviously like i'm not a trainer i'm just kind of showing you guys what i do it works for me um but i kind of formed this off of other videos that i had seen and i know y'all probably all heard of her i don't know what her actual name is but the workouts that are blog alati's workout um that's i'll put like the link down below and i'll put the name up here i'm not sure who what the woman's name is that does it but she does all these little workouts on youtube and everything like that and it's just like shorter workouts that's like a minute and 30 seconds of work and then it's like a couple different moves and so I formed my own workout routine basically off of different things that I had done and off of that format of the like one minute 30 seconds of work on each move um and then just kind of fit it to myself like what feels good for my body like what I can handle so obviously it's different for everybody um do whatever you want you don't have to do this I'm just kind of telling you guys what I'm doing um and then I'm going to show everything that I do maybe we'll see how that goes and then show variations to it so some of the things I have to make a little easier because I'm not at the same fitness level I was and other things I may make a little bit harder and so you can do obviously any variation of these things if you choose to do this workout and I'll show you all the different ways you can do that to make it either like a little easier or a little harder depending on your fitness level um, and these are all things you can do at home and you don't need any equipment or anything for I'm just using stuff around my house because I don't have any gym equipment so I'll show y'all how I do that and hopefully that will help you. Otherwise, go watch her videos. She's like amazing and they will kick your butt. They don't seem like they should be that hard when you listen to what she's saying and what you're going to be doing. But then when you do it for a minute and 30 seconds each, every single little bit is like killing you. So anyway, I'll get on to show you guys what I do. So the second thing I'm going to talk about is nutrition. Obviously, again, I am just giving you all my two cents on what works for me. This is not going to work for everybody. I'm not a professional, so please don't say that I'm telling everybody they should do this. I'm just telling you all what works for me. Um, and I've obviously had to kind of change what I eat because of the fact that I'm at home all the time. And I'm going to preface this by saying I also just like eat crap too. Like I'm not over here being like, oh my gosh, eat so healthy during this whole situation, like being at home. No, I have eaten really bad during this. And that is a problem that a lot of people are having. So I'm not coming to you on this like high horse of healthy eating. I'm just telling y'all when I'm eating healthy, this is pretty much what I've been eating. Um, but I also am just like sitting around eating Oreos too. So like I'm not 
preaching to you guys that you should put a whole lot of stress on yourself over like eating perfectly and all that stuff like there's a lot going on in the world and so if you're not kicking butt at nutrition or working out like it's gonna be okay like there's a lot going on so I mean I'm pretty sure that you know getting back on track will happen eventually so give yourself a little bit of grace but given the workout that I just showed y'all I'm gonna give you guys also the nutrition kind of plan that I'm doing right now okay obviously you're not supposed to be going shopping a whole lot and grocery stores are kind of picked over and it's really not safe. I mean, it's not not safe, but you're supposed to be trying to avoid going out as much as possible. So I tried to incorporate as many things that are frozen or that I can stock up on. It's not going to go bad as possible, so I don't have to go as often. Um, I literally look forward to going to the grocery store, though, every time I like have to go because I'm like, this is my time out of the house other than when I like take walks and stuff. But so I'll also say down below some of the recipes and everything that I make. But some of the things I've been making is... Um, I bought a lot of chicken at the beginning and I froze it so that I can make chicken throughout so I'll take out some and thaw it and then I'll cook it. Um, I usually use, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this, but it's McCormick like um, poultry magic seasoning on my chicken. It's just like a mix of a bunch of different things because I'm not great with figuring out what goes on different foods so I just buy pre-mixed seasonings. So I put that on pretty much all my chicken. Um, I also have random recipes on my TikTok, which like I'm barely into the TikTok world, but I'll link that down below too. So I usually make that with some kind of vegetable. Again, I try to utilize frozen vegetables as much as possible because that way they're not going to go bad. Vegetables go bad really quickly. And I also try to use like canned vegetables, anything I can so that it's stuff that I can keep in my house longer. Um, so I also got, this is not like, again, this is my version of what I'm doing right now. So I also bought a lot of sauces, like different, um, like sauces from, what's that place called? They're like, it's like orange chicken sauces and everything like that, which are obviously full of bad things. But at this moment in time, I'm working with what I got. So I'll make different versions of that with like frozen, ve frozen vegetables and chicken and different sauces. And I also make some of my own from recipes on Pinterest and stuff like that. But I'll try and do that with some kind of rice or something just to make sure that I'm getting like carb, vegetables, protein, everything like that. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm just trying to stick to basically the same diet plan that I had before, but trying to make sure I'm utilizing foods that I can stock up on ahead of time and not have to buy fresh super often. Um, also making a lot of like, they have like this frozen pasta that's made out of like lentils and stuff, so it's not as carby. I mean, carby, it is, it's vegetables have carbs, but I've been using that as a substitute so I don't have to eat as much like pasta if I'm gonna have pasta. Um, I do some spaghetti squash like casseroles things um, and use like crushed tomatoes in there and try and make like a spaghetti casserole. If you guys have ever had that, you basically substitute every like the spaghetti squash in there for noodles. So those are just some different recipe ideas, but I'll try and leave some different ones down below. And again, I'll leave my TikTok, which has random cooking videos on there. And I'll see if I have any footage and input that too. But the best advice I can give you is try and stick to buying things that you can keep in your pantry and everything for a while or in your freezer and not have to go to the grocery store as often and still incorporate like a protein, a carb, some kind of vegetable. Um, like I said before, there was a time when I wasn't doing carbs, but for sustainability and like to do a diet plan that will work for a while, I, I need carbs. I mean, I think everyone does. So um, I've kept carbs in my diet at this point, but I try and make sure that it's like a brown rice or like sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes, stuff like that. That's not just like pasta and white bread and has like very little nutritional value. So try and make sure that you can stock up as much as possible on things that have a higher nutritional value that you can keep frozen or in your pantry. Okay, so the last little part of this is just going to be me telling y'all how I'm getting through all of this sort of. So obviously if you're just here for workout or nutrition information, you can click out. But this is just some stuff that I've been doing to keep myself sane. I'm a very social person. So for me, this has been really hard like a lot of people but obviously I count myself lucky that I and no one that I know has been personally affected by this and so I'm just trying to do what I can to do my part and stay home um, so I'm just gonna tell you guys some of the things that I've been doing to not lose my mind because I can't go out that often um, so the first thing I've been doing a lot of is just finding like little at-home spa things to do and I know this sounds kind of dumb but it's given me a lot of time to invest in like like spending more time like painting my nails and doing things like that and just making myself feel good despite the fact that I lay around in sweatpants a lot. Um, and that's another thing that I have to say that kind of stinks but can be really helpful if you're trying to gain some normalcy is I try and make sure that I wake up in the morning and still like make my bed, do something with my hair and my face, like do my skincare routine just to kind of like wake myself up. Otherwise I feel like I just stay in this comatose half awake state all day long and that's not healthy for me at least. Um, so I've been trying to do that, make sure I get up and do something. 
I obviously still have school and work. I work remotely now through like Zoom and then I have school that I still do so I'll try and make some kind of schedule for doing that and sit out in my like kitchen and do all my work on the counter because if I stay in my bed all day I will never get out. So doing things outside of my bedroom has been very helpful for me. Um, I, like everyone else apparently in the world, have been taking a lot of walks, so I walk my dog obviously anyway, but he and I have walked more this past month or so than I think ever before, so I try and just walk a lot and make sure that I get out in the sun because staying inside cannot, can be very detrimental to your mental health. If there's someone that's kind of susceptible to that, I know I am, and if I don't get enough like sun and fresh air, I just like lose my mind. So I've been trying to get out more for walks and everything like that. Um, again, just like little at home activities. I have been doing a lot of online shopping, which is not the most beneficial. And I tried to discontinue that because obviously there's like risks with that. And then also I don't need to spend all my money while I'm sitting at home. So, but some of the things I got were just like nail kits and stuff, just things that I can do inside. Or I made a sweatshirt or I'm like cropping clothes and tie dyeing stuff, which everyone I think has been doing, but it's really fun and it gives you something to do. It gives you a task. Um, that's the one thing I've also heard is that people say try to stick to some kind of schedule if you can if that's something that's helpful for you obviously it's not for everyone but for me having a schedule keeps me on track and keeps me like sane so I've tried to stick to some basic schedule of like when I wake up when I have breakfast and lunch and dinner and making sure I don't go to bed at 2 a.m. every single day um, so just try to keep a routine that's helped me a lot and try to maintain little activities, keeping my house clean, as boring as that may sound, has helped me a lot. Making sure that my house is the way it would be if I was living my normal day to day out of the house life, that has helped me keep my head on straight. So I know those may seem really like obvious, but a lot of people are really struggling during this time with staying home all the time and being in, like in their house. It's hard on your mental health, but also it doesn't have to be. You can try and use some of these tips. Um, and if you're someone that's having a really hard time with this, you know, you can still like Zoom friends or talk to people or text people. I've reached out to a lot of people I haven't talked to in a while because I've had extra time. So that can be really helpful and beneficial to them and you. So these were just a couple tips for how I am making it through all of this. Okay, so that is it. I know it's been forever and I know this is a really odd video and a really odd time for everybody and I wish the best for everyone watching. Um, I can't imagine what everyone's going through. Obviously it's different for everyone here. I haven't had that much effect other than I can't see many people. Um, I've pretty much quarantined myself here <laughs> in my apartment so it's been hard without my family but I can't imagine being someone that's affected by this so um, I'm trying to do my part and these are the different ways that I am managing to do that and still keep my hat on straight. So I hope y'all liked this. Let me know if you have any questions or comments or try any of this and enjoy it. Um, or if there's anything else that you want me to film, please let me know. Obviously I have a lot more time now. So hopefully I'll be putting out more videos soon. Um, but it's sunny outside, so I'm actually going to go outside because I need it. So have a great day.